You may or may not recall, but the first day of class, I said there are two things that if you don't get anything else out of this course, I would hope you'd get these things out of it. Number one, no number is big or small unless we compare it with something else. And the way we compare things is to use percentages. We say, let's say I got a dollar an hour raise. Was that a big raise or not? I don't know unless I compare it with something. And that something is, what did I used to make? All right? If I used to make $100 an hour, a dollar an hour raise is 1% of that. That's not a big raise. I might not even notice it. But if I used to make $2 an hour and I get a $1 an hour raise, that's a huge raise. All right? And when we compare, we divide. So here's how I approach percent change, percent increase and decrease. There's always an old number, the thing it used to be. There's always a new number, the thing it is now. If two goes up to three, what percent increase was that? If I used to make 20,000 a year and now I make 30,000 a year, what's my percent increase? Well, we have to find the actual difference first. There's an old number, a new number, and we take new minus old, and that gives us the actual difference. And then we say, how does that actual difference compare with the old thing? All right? And I think we said earlier, or in that handout on words that have mathematical meanings, compare with or compare to means divided by. So if I compare one to two, I take one and I divide it by two. So percent change is always the actual change divided by what it used to be. If two goes up to three, we want to know what percent increase is that. So we say take the actual change, one, divide it by what it used to be, two, punch that in the calculator and we get a decimal and we convert that to a percent. Okay. How's that feel? That's percent increase. Now we could use PBR on it. What's the base? The old thing's the base, because it's what we're comparing the change to. So this would be the base. This would be one portion, and it's 50% rate of the base. This would be a second portion, and it's 150% of the base. Okay, but to me, this is a lot easier. Old goes up to new. What if old goes down to new? I'm sorry. <laughs> what if the old thing is bigger than the new thing? What if I used to make 30000 a year, and now I only make 20000 a year? Well, I've had a decrease, haven't I? What if I used to make $3 an hour, and now I make $2 an hour? Well, what was the actual change? It was that same dollar, it's actually negative one, and when we divide it, we'll get a negative percentage, meaning it was a decrease, but we can just leave it positive and then put percent decrease after the number. All right, percent change is always the actual change divided by what it used to be, actual divided by old. So we still got this one dollar change, but now, we're comparing it to three dollars, aren't we? Because that's what it used to be. So when three goes down to two, that is a thirty-three and a third percent decrease, isn't it? Now this is counterintuitive. Most people assume that when two goes up to three, or when three goes down to two, the percent increase is the same as the percent decrease, and it is not, because we always compare it to what it used to be. So when two goes up to three, it is a 50% increase, but when three goes down to two, it's a 33% decrease. 